The continuous audit team of the federal government and representatives of the service chiefs are meeting to deliberate on modalities to boost transparency and accountability in the three payrolls of the services. It is also aimed at enlisting the Army, the Navy and the Air Force into the Integrated Payroll and Personnel Information System IPPIS, to ensure that all possible loopholes that could lead to leakages were blocked. The development is not unconnected to the 558.2 million naira allegedly diverted monthly from the Nigerian Air Force account into private pockets. The Minister of Finance, Kemi Adeoshun, says the continuous audit team of the federal government was inaugurated to investigate the scandal while carrying out a detailed audit of military payroll in the country expected to cover military personnel salaries and pension. In the interim, we just felt that it was necessary to respond um, to these allegations and revelations of excesses on the payroll. One, to investigate whether or not they are true and correct. Two, to ensure and to assess that whatever steps have been taken to block them, uh, those leakages in future ha are effective and adequate. We had a preliminary meeting with this, all the services that are here and uh, we have agreed that we will forge ahead in that direction. And uh, we have so far so good to uh, draw up a roadmap of how we're going to move forward. Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Defense, Danju Masheni, who noted that the initiative couldn't have come at a better time, says the audit will help fix all forms of discrepancies in the management of the military finance. The Army, the Navy and the Air Force are fully on board on this one. The continuous audit process is one of the initiatives of the Minister of Finance approved by the President as part of the ongoing reforms in the public finance management system of the federal government, which the President highlighted in his 2016 budget speech. In Abuja, Joy Uzo, NTA News.